This is a type of draft. This was um, sent over from uh, the US, actually from the company after I did the video um, of the other type of draft product that I got, which had two gas canisters, CO2 canisters. This one is um, just one, and uh, I think this is a newer, newer product of theirs. Um, so basically, you have this tab. You can ferment your beer in there, or you can put anything in there. And they say you can put soft drinks in there, but mainly this is um, this has actually been fermenting in here. This is my, my, my stout that's been fermenting in there. Um, these are ten pint bottles, and these are the sixteen gram CO two cylinders, um, and they get pierced. Um, that one's done. So, but be careful with those. Um, also, you can get different types of caps. Uh, these, these white ones uh, have got pressure, that one's got a pressure release. So if the pressure builds up too much, that'll release. And that, that white one there is just a much better, got a much better seal on it than the, these um, black ones. And if you're fermenting, I ferment with these ones in, and I mean, it gets quite a lot of pressure builds up in there, but they, they seem fine. But I've heard some people talk about the, the, using the white ones because they've got little rubber rings inside. So, the main point, I think, is I've got it in a bowl because when it's fermenting, I want it to stand upright. So the main thing is this feet on these bottles and you have got to, okay, start this way. No gas in there. So first of all, put the tap on. And then ideally, that's gonna line up at some point with the feet, like that. Now, I think the reason they've got rounded bottoms is because they don't want you to put gas in um, upright. Um, something to do with the, the way that the gas disperses through the system. So, now I've got it flat-ish. I can take that off and obviously the feet are now resting on there. 16 gram. Now, what's gonna happen is make sure the tap's off or closed. As soon as I start putting pressure on that, that's going to start to pierce and chuck the gas into the bottle. So watch there. Now, that press, some of that pressure actually got released out through here. So that's a foul safe. And that bottle's gone pretty solid now. That's pushing CO2 into the beer. So if, like this one, I fermented this stout, with no primer in it, no sugar, so um, it's not. It didn't get really sort of conditioned. It was, it's quite flat, and also you can, you know, don't have to wait too long for it to, to get conditioned because you you put in CO2 in it. But there you go. That that can go in the fridge if you want your beer in the fridge. When you take it to parties, um, there's you can get actually get a little carry bag with that. Um, and it's just really easy to have uh, sort of sitting in the kitchen rather than sort of a big keg of beer or uh, any other systems like that. Ten pints, so ferment away. Um, now I think with, with myself and Martin, we have now got six of these bottles, so we're pretty set really for uh, fermenting in those beers. So that's it, pretty much. Um, there's other. There's another video of mine pouring the beer so you can have a look at that uh, but that's basically tap a draft and I like it